What's up everybody? Harry Weston, AKA Full Out from Versastyle Dance Company, back to you again with another house dance tutorial. Today, we are learning the chase. It's gonna be a fun one. Thank you so much to Miron TV for having me. As always, as you can see in the back, this video has been flipped so you can follow along easily right from home. All right, y'all, let's get to it. So, the chase, is one of the original house dance moves. It's something you would see in the club for years, for years. It's really, really great to do with a partner or with somebody, as so many of these dances were really meant for, because they are social dances, they are club dances, these are community dances coming from the Black and Latinx communities all over America. So the chase is gonna go like this. You can follow along right with me at home and we're gonna dance together. As always, feet, shoulder width apart, knees bent, so we can be really ready for that jack, right? The jack is the groove, it's the foundation, it's the starting place of all these house dances, yeah? So the chase is gonna start like this. We are gonna turn our bodies to the left and you're gonna come out with your right foot and you're just gonna step one, yeah? And when you step, you got a nice bounce, yeah? And again, now my feet are you know, a little bit, I'd say wider than shoulder width apart. My toes are pointed out to the corners of the room. Boom, and I'm at a nice mid-level where I can dance, I can groove, I can just chill here, yeah? So that's the first step. Ready? Five, six, ready, go, one. Yes, nice and easy. If you notice, it's a little bit similar to the first step of the loose leg. You can check out our loose leg house dance tutorial in a previous video but it's very similar because these movements are kind of from the same family. The chase really is what they call a precursor to the loose leg. We'll get into that a little bit later, but I wanted to reference that for you now. So after that first step, boom, this is where things get a little tricky. That right leg that's out right now, you're gonna slide it in. Now when I slide it, I'm gonna twist. So I end up in this position. I just did one, now I'm twisting two. Yeah? So just look at that transition again, because this is the, the crux of the movement, the most you know, important part of the movement. We're here, I'm gonna slide this foot in, and I'm twisting. Boom. So it ends up in front. My knee is kind of right behind my other knee, but I'm still bent, I'm still balanced. Really, you know, mostly on the, on the toes, right? On the balls of my feet, but you know, not too much where I'm off balance, yeah? Nice, comfortable position, yeah? So we're here, and then here. And just practice that. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Yeah? Let's try it from neutral. Here we go. Five, six, and ready, go. One, two. Nice, good. Do that again. Five, six, and ready, go. One, two. Nice. And that's the movement. From here, we just repeat. So let's try the left side. We're gonna bring this left foot out. One, same thing. Knees are bent. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are pointed out, and I'm in a nice bent position, yeah? So just do that transition. We were just here, right? We went one, two. So we're wrapped up. I'm coming out with the left, three, and now same thing. Slide the left in, twist your body, four. Knee comes behind the other knee, Nice bent position, and again, most important, I'm comfortable. I could dance here, yeah? Cool, so try that transition now. So with the left leg, we're here, turn, back, turn, back, turn, back, turn, yeah? Cool, and from there we would just repeat. So we come out with the right, right, slide, left, Slide, right, slide, left, keep going. And one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Keep going. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, last two, last two. Yeah? So that is the chase. Now again, we're always trying to include the jack, right? So if you watch, you can see that this bounce is happening. Bounce. Bounce each, each time. Step, 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 step. I'm always dancing. I'm always grooving, yeah? Now, the loose leg connection, if you remember, in our loose leg tutorial, we talked about stepping over the rope, right? Over the rope. There's an imaginary rope right here. You step over it. Same principle here. Really step, yeah? You can imagine there's a rope. Step, 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 yeah? You want to activate those hips, yeah? This dance always comes from the middle of the body. Again, Afro and Latin dances come from the middle, yeah? The extremities, your hands and your feet are just the flavor on top. Cool? Let's try it with the chase. Here we go, from neutral. Five, six, and ready, do the chase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool? Let's try it with some music. Here we go. All right, let's start with a little bounce. Nice and easy. We're gonna start slow. Here we go. Ready? And a five, six, chase with the right. One, two, three, four. Always bouncing, always bouncing. Yeah, keep going, just slow. Nice. Can we speed it up? Here we go. Five, six, ready, go. Come on, hey, hey. Last one, last eight, and five, six, seven, eight. Cool? All right, one more time, here we go. Nice and easy. Five, six, nice and slow. Speed it up, speed it up, and ready, go. Good. All right, y'all, very nice. All right, y'all, that's the chase. Again, one of the most famous, widely used, widely known movements in house. Really, really great to do with a partner facing somebody. If you want to do it with somebody, make sure you both start on the right leg, yeah? Right leg, you'll be mirroring, and it's really, really fun to do with somebody. Remember, this is club culture, yeah? These are dances that are done in clubs, in communities, in freestyle circles, which are known as ciphers. It's a whole culture, y'all. But so glad you joined us today. As always, as always, take it slow, yeah? Do it slow, right, half tempo, and then you can speed it up. These dances take time to learn, yeah? I have been studying these dances for a long, long time. I am not a creator, I am just a student, and always want to uplift the voices of the folks who made these dances. All those folks in the clubs in, in Chicago and in, in New York in the 70s and the 80s, and then folks later on like Marjorie Smarth and Kali Sellers and Ejo and Brian Green, Dance Fusion, Shan S, so many incredible dancers to name, so little time. Thank you so much to Miron TV for having me. Hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourself, enjoy these movements, enjoy the dance, and we'll see you next time. Peace.